Good evening and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter, where you join us for our service of night prayer or Compline on Wednesday the 31st of August 2022. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for the Rector, the Reverend Joe Richards and the Reverend Jenny Walpole, our curate. In the calendar of the Church of England, we are asked today to remember Aidan, Bishop of Lindisfarne, Missionary 651. One of Columba's monks from the monastery of Iona, Aidan was sent as a missionary to Northumbria at the request of King Oswald, who was later to become his friend and interpreter. Consecrated Bishop of Lindisfarne in 635, Aidan worked closely with Oswald and became involved with the training of priests. From the island of Lindisfarne, he was able to combine a monastic lifestyle with missionary journeys to the mainland, where through his concern for the poor and enthusiasm for preaching, he won popular support. This enabled him to strengthen the church beyond the boundaries of Northumbria. He died on this day in the year 651. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us, O Lord, and make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Our traditional hymn is spoken. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night, Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we may no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your Holy Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. The refrain for Psalm 31, starting at the first verse, is into, and then going on to the 19th verse, into your hands I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me, for you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Into your hands I commend my spirit. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you which you have prepared in the sight of all for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them safe in your refuge from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his steadfast love when I was as a city besieged. I had said in my alarm, I had been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my prayer when I cried out to you. Into your hands I commend my spirit. 
Love the Lord, all you his servants, for the Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the full the proud. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait in hope for the Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, when scorn and shame besiege us and hope is veiled in grief, hold us in your wounded hands and make your face shine on us again. For you are our Lord and God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our short scripture reading this evening is taken from the first letter of Peter, chapter 5, verses 6 and 7. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Our Gospel Canticle this evening is the Nunc Dimittis, Song of Simeon. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. Gracious God, we come to you today with the knowledge of all that has taken place during the day, with concern for those around us who are suffering or are in fear. We pray, especially today for Shirley Lerner, who has a significant birthday. We pray for those who are fearful. We pray especially for the floods in Pakistan. We pray for those who are in poverty. And we pray for those who are afraid of the future or are dying and those who watch with them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Everlasting God, you sent the gentle Bishop Aidan to proclaim the gospel in this land. Grant us the lives he taught in simplicity, humility, and love for the poor through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our service at Night Prayer Compline. My colleagues will be back with you tomorrow morning at nine o'clock for the benefit service of broadcast morning prayer and will also be broadcasting night prayer Compline at six o'clock tomorrow Thursday. Have a safe and quiet night. Goodbye. <laughs>